All right, ladies and gentlemen, so ever since these Diddy allegations, there is a billion things on the Kardashians, and I'm serious, I cannot keep up to this. I can't. There's this new TikTok that has gone viral. Everything is alleged, accusations, rumors. 2024, bro, this is the f***ing year. Ooh-wee, when I tell you it will be a miracle if the Kardashians survive 2024 still on top, I am not kidding. You see, Nicole Minet here makes the point that the Kardashians are criminals. Robert Kardashian was a criminal hiding evidence for OJ, including apparently hiding stuff that OJ did at college. Um, and the rest of the family is the same. They're scammers, they're grifters. And the best example starts right there, the easiest one, that Kim multiple times has been accused of stealing things, including her most recent lawsuit for theft in which a very swanky artist saw a dupe of one of his tables in her apartment or her office and went, hey, that's not mine, lawsuit. That's not all though. You see, way back at the beginning, uh, Kim and her sisters got together and stole $120,000 from Brandy, which they swiped off her credit cards in their own shops. That's right, and here's a story straight from Brandy's own mother about how the Kardashian sisters stole $120,000 from Brandy while Kim was working as her assistant or her stylist or whatever. Oh, you thought I was done? No, of course not. Kim and her sisters, her whole family, have never been as popular as we've been led to believe. It's all a media machine that they bought and paid for, including their followers. But here's the really gross one to me as this millionaire or billionaire family, whatever they're calling themselves this week, is that the whole family engages in what ultimately looks allegedly like tax evasion in this church that they run in which everyone has to pay 10% of their income into the church. And then there's like a thousand dollars a month that you also have to pay, but then it also all comes back to you. And that's because if you run it through a church, you don't have to pay taxes on it. I'm not making this up. There's articles all over the internet, just like this one that can break down the whole alleged tax evasion scam for you. Oh, but we're not done yet kids because oh my actually goodness. it's gonna get worse, right? The last one was pretty bad, but it's gonna get worse. It looks like Kim Kardashian along with Leonardo DiCaprio and a lot of others helped this horrendous Malaysian businessman who stole a bunch of money from people. And oh, I remember this. I remember this. Him. Ever since OJ's passing, the Diddy allegations, it's everything is being looked into, dug up. Theories are going wild. The rumors are going crazy. It's just like, holy hell. Like, I can't even keep up to this stuff, man. Like, that's why I don't have no damn life. I'm out here on the internet touring <laughs> <laughs> it's all going down. It's so funny because everything is being brought up to light in 2024 with so much celebrities and all this stuff, while Kanye West is just living his best life, dropping his album, <laughs> doing songs, Ye's out of everything, you know what I mean? Ye's having the best year of his life. Every other celebrity is just going downhill.